Dragon Ball is obviously one of my favorite animes of all time, and one of my favorite things about it is how many characters are in the show. Like, this show probably has more characters than beatings Invincible takes. I mean, just look at the games. But with every group of characters, we all got our favorites, and that's what I'm here to talk about today. My personal favorites from Dragon Ball Z. Now, why should you care? Well, I think my boy Big Quirrell has a reason why you might. But let's not waste any more time. What's goody goody y'all hoodie hoodie? It's the British Miracle. And here's my personal list of the best Dragon Ball Z characters. Okay, starting at number 5, we got a very underrated character in the form of the time skipping assassin hit. This is literally like Piccolo with killable abilities but in the Dragon Ball universe, except with maybe a few less heart wrenching moves. But to me, Hit is my favorite character introduced in Dragon Ball Super. Like, what is there not to love about him? You know, he is kind of ugly the more that I look at him. But still, Hit really is just a very interesting character. And I know y'all remember when everybody was making them theories about him in the Tournament of Power. Like, I mean, in hindsight, they was kind of stupid. Like, what does this even mean, gang? But still, he just has so much hype around him. Also, this man killed your man's Goku. He's too cold. Okay, and at number four, we got someone who most people would rank a little higher. But I don't mean right this character like some people do. We got the Prince of All Saints, Vegeta. To me, Vegeta is just a funny character, like, he was just an angry man that became a little less angry over time because of character development and whatnot, but he also wasn't even liked by the creator, like, the else this man takes received aren't even necessary, Kira just didn't like you little bro, how tragic is that? I do like his character development a lot though, his character is one of the funnest things to keep up with and especially in the Namek saga, his character dynamics were so intriguing, but my brother, this hairline, we gotta give Vegeta a barber, I cannot lie. I know everyone talks about his hairline, but seriously, how did he live with this? Do you have no pride? Actually, at this point, this might just be the actual point of saying pride, because ain't no way Odell was rocking this cut, too. It's actually turned more into Vegeta slander than praise, but he's my number four on my list, so at the end of the day, at least he knows where he stands. Okay, before I get into my top three, I do want to list out my honorable and dishonorable mentions. Like I said, this is obviously my top five, so there are some characters who just barely missed the cut, and some who were just never going to be in there in a million years. Starting off with the honorable mentions, we got Trunks, Bardock, Tapion, and Goku. I think all these guys are cold, I mean, look at them, but at the same time, I just don't personally relate to them as much as other characters. Also, put some respect on my boy Tapion's name. As a Zelda fan, I thought this nigga was so cool. Charles is also fire, like I said. I just think that his DBS version is holding back a little bit. Goku's Goku, but sometimes the nigga just makes my head hurt. And finally, while I love Bardock and think he's a really cool character, I just wish we spent a little bit more time with him, you know? He didn't get that much screen time. In the dishonorable mentions, though, I got a lot of hate for some Dragon Ball characters. I can't hold you. Number one, Tien. I hate dude respectfully. He's just another body that's not Krillin. Plus, I made a paw on him one time, and y'all vote for him over Krillin, so yeah, I'm never forgiving him. Also, what's the relationship with Chaozu? Like, ain't Chaozu really a grown dude by this point? Stop babying him. Next up, we got the Doria. I'll just play a clip of everything else I gotta say about the Doria. It's ugly. I also had Zarbon and this ugly creature. Ugh, hop off my screen before I get my boy Big Crew to flash you again, boy. Built like a fusion between Respucia and the physical embodiment of illness. I hate this nigga so much. Why is he so ugly? Me personally, if I'm Goku, I'm getting the Dragon Balls, reviving this man, teleporting him to me, and then sparring with him every single day. His face is just so punchable. There's just really no reason to be this ugly, and I stand by everything I said. Finally, this guy. He was just a hater, Gohan for no reason. Like, I hope this man genuinely gets diddled or something. He need to hop off my boy Gohan's case. But yeah, now that I got that off my chest, let's hop into the top three. Okay, in the number three spot, we got the Grill Master Piccolo. Piccolo's so good, I cannot hold y'all. He was the original Evil God Turn Z Fighter, not including TM because you already know how I feel about him. But his early rivalry with Goku, to me, was just pure cinema, and his progression of character feels so natural to me. Some of Dragon Ball's peak moments were all due to this man, such as his sacrifice for Gohan. I'd be confused with this poor excuse of writing. His fighting at 17, even his sacrifice in GT was great. Actually, the more that I think about it, why is my man Piccolo always getting sacrificed? Megumi? Actually, nah. Piccolo surpassed his expectations potential. Can't say the same for someone else, though. But Piccolo really is just a chill brother. He holds DBZ together so well and works so well with my number two on my list. Yep, number two on my list is Gohan, and if you know me, this is no surprise. I mean, just look at my videos, bro's actually everywhere. And realistically, it might be cheating a little bit to put future Gohan in this spot too, but realistically, who's stopping me? Him and Trunks being some of the most traumatized characters in the show really makes me respect his character even more than normal, and I just love all his stages. From him getting emoted on and violated by Raccoon, to him being the only person to invoke fear in Cell's heart, and even him being a superhero scholar that just says profane things to villains. 
I'm just here for everything Gohan related. A Gohan focused story would honestly be something I'd be so down for. Plus, you also got Fidel, so you know I gotta support the boy. Okay, now before I get to my number one, I just wanna say. Hey, say it! You think you can just slither out of here after what you've done? No. Well, think again! <laughs> Okay, yeah, Big Krill is my absolute GOAT. Krill is just my favorite character of all time, which, I mean, oh wow, who would've guessed that? But for real, for real, Krill is just so cool looking. Like, he's the definition of being human. He's a great person, realistic character, and he just has so much soul. In a crazy universe like Dragon Ball, Krill is really just so human. Every mistake he makes, I'm just like, yeah, I can't even blame you. I probably would too. Like, come on. Come on. My brother Krill has great taste. I just can't blame him for anything. Never will another character touch Krillin for me personally, and that's why to me Krillin is the most goaded character in Dragon Ball. So yeah, that just about wraps it up for this one. These are, in my opinion, the best Dragon Ball Z characters. I obviously want to hear y'all list too, so go ahead and comment down below who you pick, and also watch my other videos while you're at it. You know, algorithm needs a little bit of help. But I appreciate y'all for watching this far, so thank you guys for watching, and peace.